what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a mulatto makeup tutorial and I'm going to show y'all how I achieve this eyeshadow look. And excuse the brows, but yeah, I like how this um, turned out. So let's get into this video. So y'all, I use CeraVe Healing Ointment to kind of make my skin... I have really dry skin, so I just use it to make my face and my skin kind of shiny. So I just use this, and it's like Vaseline, really, and I just get a little bit, and I go like, bam. And it makes my skin all crystal clear like this and shiny, because I got dry skin. And that's it. To get started, I like to start with my eyebrows first. I am going to use this brush so i'm just gonna do my brows first excuse the chipotle bag in the bag that's din din and since it's a blonde color i don't have to do colored eyebrows so i'm just going to use a messy james charles palette for this whole video because the colors that i'm using on my eyeshadow are going to be bright and i use i don't use a pencil i just use eyeshadow for my eyes my eyebrows so um don't be alarmed i just never use i never use i'm taking this this color i don't know what color this is my, my palettes are all messy so it is what it is but i um take this color that looks a little dark when i have like blonde or platinum wigs i like to do a light brown just so it can so i'll probably go in with this color like a little bit i'm just gonna put that over top of it just to make it lighter because I don't like them to be too dark. I'm concealing my eyebrows with this Tarte Shape Concealer in the shade Medium Tanned, Tanned, Tan Golden. I only use this concealer, period. And I feel like I put too much oil on my hands. I hate when I do too much. Make sure you guys don't do too much too but um yeah this is the only one i use the only concealer i use like ever you know what now nah, i conceal sometimes i don't conceal the top with concealer sometimes i just use my foundation so i don't have that weird line and if y'all do your eyebrows a different way that's fine but don't judge me how i do mine you know what i'm saying because i know some people Let's say, why would you do your eyeshadow before you do your foundation? So now I'm about to go over this. This one, like the brows are not looking like sisters right now. They looking like step cousins. So now I'm going to use my handy dandy need to be washed sponge and I'm going pat 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 tap tap that on my eyebrows booty all right so next we go in with eyeshadow so mulatto she had like a green liner and then look at all that it looks sweaty she had a green liner and like just long lashes me, I'm going to be a little different. We're going to use some glitter. If I find the glitter. We found her. So we probably mix this with some yellow. As this color. I'm going to go in with yellow. We're just gonna go in with yellow. I think I'm gonna do a combination of yellow and green, maybe. So let's see. I'm gonna do a little bit of green. More of the green right here. Right here. Right there. Next, we're gonna take this brush, the Morphe brush, the M562. 
We're taking the Morphe brush M562. I'm gonna dust this off. And I'm going to take our dark, this dark green right here. I might put a little bit of black, a little bit of that, but we're gonna do a dark, dark green right there. We're gonna put this right here. We're gonna put this right here. I have this concealer from Juvia's Place. I'm gonna take my Morphe M421 brush and I'm going to I'm going to take a little bit of this and just put it over here. And you see how light that is? That's that. So I'm gonna put the light green right here. I'm gonna put actually mix it with some yellow to make it vibrant. I'm gonna do a little bit of the dark green towards the end right here. And actually, I have another palette. I have the Morphe palette. We're gonna go in with some of those colors too. Kind of these like neat, like these kind of dark green. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Part of me is like, girl, do I even want to put some glitter on this joint or just leave it like this? You know what I'm saying? No. Part of me is like, no glitter. But we might still put some glitter. Because y'all know I love glitter. Okay. So I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer. Kind of hand thing I use for like the glitter. And I just put a little bit. I'm just going to put a little bit because I just want a little... I just want a little bit on my eye, I think. So we're just gonna dab, 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 kind of onto this part. My Morphe brush that I use for glitter. Take my glitter that I got from Michaels. It's very fine, and just put it on there. Just for a little sparkle. There you go. All right, guys, I'm back. The lashes are on. I think they look really, really pretty. All right, so I don't have that much fallout on the bottom of my eyes. I usually just wipe it but um, with a paper towel, but I don't have any, so I'm okay. So, guys, I use the Fenty Beauty in the shades of two. I use two different shades because my skin tone, I feel like, is, like, really uneven. So I use two different shades. I use 360 and I use 345. I just do pump, 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 pump. And then I go kind of heavy handed with the 345. The 365 is kind of like, not really like, it's like a paler, it's like an olive tone. Wow, the 345 is like summer and I like to look orange. take my Tarte Shape Concealer and put it under my under eye. So guys, I just realized this um the folk it <laughs> setting powder. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna increase. Um, yeah, so I use that and then I also use Juvia's Place banana setting powder. We are gonna use the Fenty Beauty Foundation Matchstick in the shade Truffle. And I go like this, then I go like this. Then I go like this, this, then I go like that, that, then I contour my nose, contour it, contour it, make it look sexy. 
Bam. Okay. Morphe brush. And buff it out, baby. I'm gonna just use my Morphe brush like to wipe off the powder. I'm gonna go in with my contour brush and use Fenty Beauty's contour cream bronzer in the shade Teddy. And we're just gonna I'm gonna take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and hmm. Sorry to this side, but I'm taking my Morphe brush. I don't know which brush this is. I think it's from a brush set, but I'm taking Sorry guys, my stuff is so messy. But I'm taking the a cream brush, cream blush from the Fenty Beauty collection in the shade of Petal Poppin. I love her cream brush, cream blushes. They're very, very, very cute. And so I am just I like to put it like everywhere. If if you know me, I love blush. So I like to just go I get heavy handed with it and I put it on my nose put it on my hair put it up here I just like how it looks so pretty I think I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife and I'm gonna put some on here just a little bit there you know Gotta make sure that it gets shown. Put there. Have that all mixed in. So I have the cake pencil in the shade Trooper Black, actually, it's Trooper Black from, it's just a regular, a random pencil. So I just go in and All right, so I'm gonna go put my wig on, my wig cap, and I'm going to go install that my mulatto unit and put down the stuff and then i'm gonna be back and i'm gonna show y'all just the end product hey y'all so i know my hair looks a little crazy because i just glued it on but i'm going to just show you how i do my lipstick i just take some again i just take brown eyeshadow and i just outline my lips that's from morphe and I'm taking bare all and I'm just putting it like there. I like my lips to be chapped too when I do this. Mm -hmm. Boom. Sexy. I'm giving much. And then I take this white NYX eyeliner. That's for use eyeliner. And it's white. And I just go like this. Take it right in the middle. Then I'm going to take my Fenty. I love this. This is Sweet Mouth. I love Sweet Mouth. I love Sweet Mouth. Now I got it there. Mmm. Blouse. 